I'm gonna go get some work done on my van. Yes! <laughs> but first I wanna try to figure this thing out. All right, so this is my USB port right here and it's just these two little guys. So what I think I'm gonna do is plug this guy in right here. I wanna see if I can hook up my Pandora <laughs> to this. And then I also have this plug here, which I was told this port is live, so even if the car is off, it's still charging. So I gotta be careful. All right, happy to see it works. <laughs> it's charging. Okay. Always better for unhoused people. I'm feeling so happy right now because the vibes are gonna be so good driving. All right, what I did, it was super fuzzy in here, so I took this out, put it in here, and now it's working. You know how in my Volkswagen Beetle, I had that bed platform built and the seats taken out? Well, we're going to Will's place and he's the one who did that work for me. He's incredibly talented. He can build almost anything and it's amazing. <laughs> and I'm so grateful to have him in my life. He's such a blessing, you know, to people's lives with how much he can help. My most important thing is the floor. There's this green flooring in here. It's covered in dog hair and underneath the green, uh, carpet there is these loose kind of pieces of foam padding and it's just pretty funky so my main thing is I want to get that up and get some other carpet situation down on the floor to make it much more nice and more comfortable and just so much better there's a bed platform back there either we'll put that same one back in I've got to lay on it some more and make sure that can fit I'm not sure um, if not definitely a bed situation uh, we're gonna have to figure that out as well in this day and age of van life I know there's so many like incredible amazing builds where it's like luxury resort inside a van I don't need anything like that I just want something spacious and comfortable to do my adventures in um, it doesn't have to be super fancy or elaborate. I just want something good that's gonna feel good, comfortable, and allow me to have a real good time. <laughs> set out my mat and I laid on here and unfortunately I'm just slightly too tall. My feet hit here, my head hits the other side and when it gets cold and rainy um, or just really cold there's going to be lots of condensation on here and I'll get wet. So I liked the setup how it was. I felt like it gave me this nice big space back here but unfortunately I'm going to need a different type of bed platform. And then in here, we just took up the carpet that's under, this foam stuff, and we're able to see the bottom. This is what we're working with, and this is what we're gonna change. And probably the bed platform's gonna have to be along the wall. Pardon me while I pause the video for a second, just to let you guys know that the next clips that you're about to see are Will and I driving in my van, and we're headed to go get supplies for the van build. And just the flowers, with the way the sun is shining on them right now, I guess, they're so vibrant. Yeah. Yeah, that always reminds me of, I don't know, where else. So down at the end, towards the end of it is where they do the kite surfing. We're 
we're at the Home Depot now. We're just getting some supplies. So I forgot my camera and my phone in the car, so I went back to the car. But Will's already there. Uh, he made a list of everything he's gonna need. And we're also working with some stuff that he just has already at his house. So he has some supplies um, just at his house that we're gonna use, but everything else we're getting here at the Home Depot. All right, so this is our stuff. I spotted it. I'm not sure where Will went, but this is our um, our stuff, so I'm just gonna post here and wait for him. You can find the rest. Mm -hmm. By the time we went to town and got our supplies as well as stopped off and got some food, it was already starting to get dark. So instead of rush back to his house and do what little we'd be able to do, which would be basically nothing because the sun was about to set, we decided to pull off and enjoy this magnificent sunset. Hey, good morning guys, it's the next day. So what happened, I'm back home. <laughs> so what happened is Will and I went to the store, we also went out to eat, and then we went and stopped somewhere and watched this beautiful sunset. And by the time we got back to his house, it was dark and I was like, uh. <laughs> and I brought stuff because I figured I might stay the night in my van anyways because I figured we wouldn't get done with everything but we weren't even able to start and then he actually had a job to do today so I'm just gonna be here today and I'm gonna go back tomorrow early it's just past 6 30 i'm about to leave i'm hoping to be at will's place by nine so we have a full day with the sun to get a lot of stuff done in the in my van that's the full moon and i really think it affected my sleep <laughs> i couldn't sleep last night it was probably it was a powerful full moon it was a big one i mean the moon literally it was big Shark 
left. I'm gonna go with that, but throwing it over there. It's interesting. There's two layers of this kind of stuff, two layers of carpet, and it's coming out. So we took all the layers of carpet and foam out, and we discovered that there is a freaking hole cut in the floor of my van. So that's a little crazy. We are here investigating because on this side, as you can see, there's a shelf there. And on this side, there is a bunch of wasted space. So we're trying to see what we can do with it. And we pulled out these lights that don't work and there's tons of wiring here. So we're trying to figure that out. We think this is all because of the wheelchair. All right, so we have just pulled off this thing. It's looking pretty crazy. We're thinking of maybe putting a bigger type shelf here. Here's some of the wires we were able to take out. Okay. I slipped it over and it's not quite covering the hole now. Oh, oh. Okay. Is that good? It's the end of the day, it's dark outside, and we're taking a break from the van build. I just wanna show you this cool stove. Um, so this is how Will heats his cabin, and I wanna show you, it's really cool. Ah, oh, warmth. It's a super big one. I feel super grateful to be in here right now in the warmth, because it's freaking freezing out there. <laughs> Um, so we're gonna wake up and finish the project tomorrow and I'm gonna crash here tonight. I got all my stuff in my van actually. I have a big blanket, sleeping bag, as well as my futon. I'm a self-sustaining unit. Yeah, at my house right now, my mom got like the best um, organic, espresso beans from coffee roasters in Fairfax. I don't know if you've ever been there. I think I probably have. Oh yeah, you probably have. It's really nice espresso. There's a pretty good brand of coffee I'd get from a new grocery store, but I was at Safeway with my landlord. I got provisions this time. <laughs> and yeah, they don't actually carry good coffee at Safeway. Yeah, I come from my grandparents drank like Folgers. <clears throat> Are you familiar with Folgers? Oh yeah. <laughs> 
that was coffee. I'm like, oh my God, if only I could have like known about coffee back then and like brought them real coffee. They may not have liked it though. Oh my God. That's the thing, a lot of the Folgers people, it takes them a while to break them, to break them in. Like sometimes you can mix just with like a little teaspoon of your good coffee into theirs. And they'll be like, oh, that's, yeah, that's not bad. But if you made it full strength, they would just be like, oh, it's just way too strong, it's too bitter, it's too... Oh. But, and then they, you know, they would get a little bit more used to it after a while. Like my grandpa, um, I guess, for, you know, because maybe they worried it wasn't good for them, they started cutting down, but they just made it waterier and waterier, so that it was like, kind of like brown water wasn't even real strong and then my mom said that my grandpa put in so much powdered cream I remember him putting in a ton of powdered cream and no sugar like two big spoons of powdered cream and just little tiny cups and it would just it would look like gravy or something that he was drinking good morning everybody it is the next day I'm drinking coffee if you haven't been able to tell from this video I'm a freaking coffee person now. I don't know how long I will be. I go through phases, but I'm in a daily morning coffee phase. <laughs> All right, anyhow, I'm just walking out here. It's like eight in the morning, it's pretty cold. And um, taking a look at my van. So I'm gonna show you guys where we got to last night and maybe everything else that we gotta do today. All right. Flooring, more flooring, more flooring, <laughs> carpet, um, pretty much what we've got to do. We're going to cut another piece of carpet to make it more cushiony and then fasten everything down here, fix that part. We're going to have to do something there, put a platform in the back and uh, yeah, so lots to do, <laughs> um, but getting everything I think we did like the hardest, I'm saying we did, you know, Will's doing it, but I think he did like the hardest or the most time consuming stuff yesterday. And then today it should all come together pretty quickly. Now I'm just driving back to my house and we ended up finishing everything that we had on the list to complete in regards to the van. It actually ended up taking quite a bit longer than anticipated. We thought we'd get everything done in a day and it took two full days as well as a journey of me driving all the way there so that I could get Will and we could go to Home Depot and get all the supplies that we needed after he saw the van in person and assessed everything that he was going to need. 
Now, one of the reasons it took so much longer is because there was some really surprising, unexpected things about this van that we didn't anticipate. Once we took out all the padding and the carpet that was already in there, we discovered multiple holes on the bottom of the van that we had to plug up, as well as that giant rectangular hole in the van that we really wanted to cover up and secure in a proper way that would be rid of that area. Um, and then another thing that is different about this van is that originally this van was gutted and made to be a wheelchair transporting van so it would transport disabled people and people in wheelchairs so there was a lot of wiring and just unexpected tubing of wiring that will pulled out and spent a good a time good amount of time assessing as well as testing to see if the wires were live or not. So those were some unseen circumstances that made it take a lot longer, but I'm pretty stoked with how everything turned out in the end. And there was other things that we ended up finishing that I didn't quite get on film, but I'm gonna show you guys in another video, a whole tour of the van build and why I did it the way that I did and things like that. So that is definitely coming. And and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you next time.